record and share. Well, I am super excited to see all of you here. I hope you're all well. And um, I'm really pleased that we have Patty Shatner coming to spend some time with us tonight. I hope you've prepared some good questions for her. Um, and also a big shout out to Sarah Church who created a logo for our group because we didn't have one. So we now have this beautiful logo and gerrymandering now with WWNVD in the little corner down there. So um, if you don't have it and you're creating something that you wanted for, let me know. But I think I've passed it around to most people who create documents for our group. But if there's anyone I miss, let me know. But there's our new logo. Uh, so tonight we're just going to shuffle things around a little tiny bit because Carlene has a another event to go to. So we're going to put her at the beginning of the meeting and then work the um, work the team updates and um, work the team updates around that. So we'll, the big news and I think Carlene's going to talk a little bit more about this, but that we are getting really, really close to the nonpartisan redistricting legislation being introduced. Um, hopefully we'll have a bill number soon. So I'll let Carlene update us more on that, but that's kind of the next big thing in our timeline. And with that, I'll pass it over to Carlene. Yeah, so um, we're not expecting to have a bill number yet by this date, but um, on uh, May 17th, which is um, a week from Monday, we will be having a rally at noon at the state capitol. And uh, excuse me, uh, this is Pat, I'm sorry, uh, but uh, can you speak up? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Sure. Is this better? That's a little better, thank you. Okay. Um, I would put my earbuds in, but there I lost power on them this afternoon, and so... <laughs> I have my computer. Um, anyway, so we will be having a rally at noon on the 17th at the state capitol. Uh, Senator Smith, who has been with us before on this call, is going to be the uh, lead author in the Senate, and he'll be speaking, as well as Representative Deb Andraka, who will be the lead author in the Assembly. She'll also be speaking. Um, and then Deb uh, Crummiller from the League, Sachin Chetta from Fair Elections, Matt Rothschild, and Kristen Bray from As Goes Wisconsin is going to be the MC for the day or for the event. Um, I'm hoping to hear really soon that we're going to have a band as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, the Forward Wisconsin Marching Band cool. who... Um, Light heard about this and and contacted me and said, hey, if I can get the guy who heads it up, if I can get the requisite number, there's I guess there's 30 people in the band, but if I can get the requisite number of instruments, meaning a certain number of trumpets and some drums and a trombone or two, um, do, would you like us to play? It was like, absolutely. So uh, maybe we'll have a band. So that will be on the 17th. That's a Monday at the Capitol, as I said, the, it won't be introduced yet. This is really a rollout and an opportunity to for people to speak, for uh, be socially distanced, masked rally, but also um, a time for people to be able to, um, to really make their voices heard in the space and also be seen by the press. So can you go to the next slide? Our big goals, press coverage. We want the press to be there. They want, uh, we want to, them to see us. We want them to know that there's, um, that there's legislation coming up and there are a lot of people there. We're gonna message around, this is the right way to do it. It's transparent. It, it includes public input. You shouldn't need a bill to do it. The legislature could choose to do it that way. The PMC is doing that way. And this is what we, we the people want. So our messaging will be all around that. And next one. 
if you're interested in being an event marshal, um, please let me know. Don and Ann have already uh, volunteered to do that, and I actually put something in my note. It's not in the slides, Don, because I didn't see it till I read through all the chat that you guys had had volunteered. So I apologize for not getting you into the slides that I just sent out. Um, and there'll be a training for that on Monday at 4.30 via Zoom. So if you plan to come to Madison and would want to be a marshal, please let me know and I will make sure that you get the Zoom for the Monday training. And that's really all I have besides to say this, these are the, the links to the districter uh, trainings. I'm actually not doing any trainings. I found that I there was only one study hall that I had where more than one person showed up. So um, these are the people, the, the districter people at Tufts are the people who really know the software and uh, can really help with folks. And they're doing one-on-ones in small groups <coughs> in the study hall. So please, if you haven't done the training and you want to be helpful in the community mapping that, that Janelle's going to talk about, there's the information. Oh, and yeah, this is the same. It's still out there. Uh, the For the People Act is still, it's kind of languishing right now, but it is certainly not dead. So uh, there's a lot of pressure on the Congress to do something. And uh, if you haven't contacted Tammy Baldwin or Ron Johnson yet, please do. Um, Janelle, the one thing I wanted to tell you that I added in here, um, I don't see Carol on. I put something in about that lawsuit. Oh, I yeah, I I saw that. I did too. Okay, <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if it was you or Carol. We both yeah, did. Yeah, it, but... it was me. It was from a different uh, slideshow that I'd done for a different group, and I thought, oh, let me just put that in there quick. So it, it is in there. Um, and if you have any questions about it, I was actually on a call with Law Forward today about a bunch of stuff. So if anybody has any questions about that, I do have to go. Uh, but um, thanks, everybody. And Thank Emory, you, Carleen. I'd love to chat with you sometime. Thanks for making time and Absolutely. enjoy your evening. Yeah. All right. Take care. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so now that we're all updated on the statewide stuff, we can dive into our Western Wisconsin stuff. So I'll pass it over to Ann or Douglas. I don't think Anne is on, is she? I know she had another meeting, so she might. Oh, Don is on, but Anne wishes that Douglas would give the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we have uh, two goals identified here. So the, the primary thing is, of course, convincing our legislators here in this area to support this new legislation that Carlene was just mentioning that's being introduced by Smith and, and Draca. So um, we have a series of, of ways of trying to reach out and, and connect with, with those members. And um, if anyone's interested, get in touch with us and we can get you involved. So we're gonna do it by um, each individual legislative district and um, provide them with some resources and um, develop relationships is, is the key to, to effective lobbying. If we're going to build relationships with these members, even if, even if they're, um, you know, not necessarily initially supportive of nonpartisan voting districts, the idea is to, to build a relationship with them, maybe talking about issues that are, are more important to them than, than nonpartisan voting districts. Thank you, Douglas. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to contact their legislator, get in touch with Ann and Douglas and they'll help you out. Um, this is the slide that both uh, I made and, <laughs> and uh, Carlene made. I don't think Carol Skinner is on the call. She was traveling and she's gonna try to make it, but I don't think she's here. So. I'll give it, you may have heard already, but there was a lawsuit um, saying that it was illegal for the legislators to 
hire a law firm before there was anything to litigate yet. Um, and the judge upheld that and said it was indeed true and the contract with the law firms had to be voided. Um, so that was really good news for, um, you know, a little a little victory along the way. So uh, they were set to pay them a tremendous amount of money, whether or not they were doing anything. Right. Yeah. Is that is that being uh, appealed? Not that I know of so far. I haven't heard anything like that. So so far, this is the final thing that they're not allowed to hire a law firm before there's anything to hire a law firm about. Um, great. So great, great victory. And I'll pass it back to Douglas. All right. So uh, tonight we're going to take eight minutes and uh, we'll have about four people in each group, maybe possibly a little bit less now. Um, but the idea is to share, you know, what um, techniques you're using to, to maintain this nonpartisan position. And uh, what, what have each of us learned in these months of um, thinking about this issue of, of advocating for nonpartisan voting districts? So pretty, pretty simple couple of goals. And uh, if you're willing to talk with your partners about what's worked for you. All right, I'll open the breakout rooms now. Thank you. All right, well, we, I think that Patty's not here yet. Patty, are you here? I don't think I see her. Um, so we're a little ahead. So I will, will continue the team updates until Patty gets here and then um, we might just end our meeting early today. Yay. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Revolutionary. Um, so I work with the team that supports the, the grassroots support for the People's Map Commission. And we, this is kind of a busy slide, but we have four parts to our team. Um, Ed and Michael and a couple, I think I read and uh, Cheryl are all on a loose team that's working on letters to the editor and articles for the local paper. You're gonna hear from Color Me from Don on Color Me Fair, you're gonna hear from Sarah probably on art for nonpartisan districts. And what I'm helping to lead is collecting communities of interest. So this is something that the People's Map Commission has asked us to do. And so we're going to do it in three ways. One, in person, we're gonna be organizing in-person events and we have the first one planned in collaboration with the League of Women Voters Greater Chippewa Valley. And Sarah gave it a great name today, Mappy Hour, because it's happy hour when we're gonna draw maps. <laughs> so if you can come join us at um, Nanak Brewery on Thursday, May 27th from three to 7 p.m. There'll be some kind of incentive. You'll get a discount on your beer and you can draw a map and talk with people in person. And it's a lovely outdoor space. So. Um, I encourage you to take advantage of that opportunity and there will be others scheduled and we'll let you know as they come out. Also, we are gonna collect community and community of interest information um, in Zoom meetings. And we would like to invite you <laughs> to come to our first two that will be just kind of like for friends and family. So we're gonna 
try out our concept of drawing maps in a Zoom meeting. And so we'd love for people that already have a little background or maybe can help us do better the next time um, join. So I've just put the sign up form in the in the chat here. So if you don't mind clicking on that, pick a day when you can come. Uh, there's also an option in there for if you just want someone to reach out to you one on one and draw a map with you, we can do that too. Um, so please join us for that. And then in June, we'll roll out um, events that we can invite all the groups that we've been doing presentations to and anyone else that's involved um, in our area. And we can put it on Facebook and stuff. But these first two are just kind of for us internally. So please join. And we're also encouraging people just to reach out one on one. And we're going to have some more resources on our website soon for that. So that if that's something you want to, a way you want to proceed, you'll, you'll have all the resources you need for doing that. And with that, I'll pass it over to Don. Oh, wow. I was supposed to go after Patty, but now, yeah. Um, so now that we have some people here, I, I would like to thank them. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I got team member Bob Moline out there, uh, and Janelle, of course, is on our team, and we have one more member, uh, Dan Paulson, who does the website. Uh, we've we've uh, done, I think, Yeoman's work in getting the website up, and the contest is live. It's running now. We've already gotten one uh, entry already. The contest does last till July 31st, so we've got... A long way to go right now we are in the publicity phase for the next couple of weeks and we only started uh the contest this this week uh we're trying to get the word out about this contest um, uh, thanks to irene uh i'm not sure how to pronounce your last name irene but uh i was in contact with irene today she got the word out to polk county and the newspapers out there Bob is helping with uh, getting uh, the word out. Uh, so is Janelle. I'm doing uh, some work myself, but that's the main reason that uh, I'm happy to talk tonight. You see at the bottom of our flyer that Bob made up uh, is the piercecountygrow.org slash map contest. That's where you get the rules. That's where you can enter your map. That's where you can get educated. Not that anybody here needs to be educated about fair maps. Uh, you can learn about the, more about the PMC, et cetera. And in fact, that the map that was already entered into the contest was sent along to the PMC. So Anne-Marie, you got one DRA 2020 map uh, that's sent from one of our contestants, our, our only contestant right now. There are plenty more out there. They're published on the, on the, the the DRA 2020 website. I just don't have a way to contact those people to tell them to enter the contest and to submit their map to the PMC, but I'm working on that. I got good communications with the people there. Now, DR, I'm gonna make one last comment. DRA 2020 is just like Districter, almost just like Districter in the sense that it uses 2020 shapes for, their, for the, the precincts or the wards. It uses uh, 2019 American Community Survey data. It's got uh, a lot of uh, political data, election data from the past decade in there. It does everything that Districter does. So when we send in a map or when one of our contestants sends in a map to the PMC, the, the PMC will be able to see that map. It just won't be in the district format. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I can see. You can see there's prize money we're, that we're offering. Um, and we've got two categories and we're really hoping the high schools will come through with sort of a summer project for teams. Um, and, and it's eminently doable for a high school person. We're trying to reach out to colleges and universities. So if anybody, uh, uh, has if, if you could spread the word that's the the idea well and pointing to something you're not looking at the screen oh i'm not looking at the screen <laughs> um finally last night when i gave my presentation to the uh team leaders of the uh, fair maps uh council or whatever it is 
uh, people ask me, where do you get that money? And I said, oh, we don't have to worry about money. And I, that was a huge mistake. Yes, we have to worry about money. Uh, so now if you want to donate, to, uh, we've got a way to donate uh, to, uh, well, Western uh, Wisconsin for nonpartisan voting districts, but you can put in the, in the check memo. Uh, I'd like this to go to the map contest of prizes. Uh, we got it covered, but it's more, it's better if more people, more little uh, drops of rain uh, get into the bucket instead of one big splash. Uh, Bob, Janelle, I know I've missed something. Can you help me out here? I think we're Any good, unless Bob, you've got something and we might pass it over to Sarah. I don't think I have anything to add. I, I would say Don has taken the by far the lead in this and Dan and Janelle and I are, are able to uh, run fast and try to keep up with Don. Um, just as he said, we if you know of ways to get this word out, please do. I, I did get a, a Twitter exchange with someone asking about this saying, if you don't have the most up-to-date 2021 census data, what's the use of this? And my response was simple. We want people to be good at this software because we expect there to be a race to implement maps as soon as that data is available. And therefore, people will need to be good at it. And this is part of getting the word out. Awesome. Very fun to have a contest. Uh, really great. So thank you, Don and Bob and everyone. And now we'll pass it over to whoever's, I'm guessing Sarah, but whoever yeah. or Cheryl, whoever's yeah. presenting. Yeah, Carol asked me to do it. Um, and before I, I dive into this, I just also wanted to sort of follow up with the, the communities of interest just to make sure everybody knows right now. I mean, we'll send out more information, but I did talk to uh, Liz this afternoon. And what we need to do when you're saving the, the district or maps is to, uh, you save it and then a thing comes up where you can choose uh, draft, and then there's a tagger event code. The tagger event code should be PMC and then the team or plan name should be WWNVD. And then that way they'll all be saved in the same place and, and you can see all of them that have uh, been created on behalf of, of uh, our, our team, our group. And then uh, also there'll be information about uh, how how you can find them again once once you've tagged in that way. But I think the, the the important thing right now is to get them tagged properly so that we can always find them in the same place. And and we also have to send them to to the PMC. But this is this is so we can collect them in Districtor. Okay. So the um, and which is oh. <laughs> On districting or for nonpartisan districts. Uh, um, <laughs> I didn't see that before. <laughs> there we go. Has basically three prongs, uh, but more than that, as far as activities to support it are concerned. So we have uh, three ways that people can participate with through art. The first one listed here is high school, and uh, Carol's already contacted all of the social studies teachers in our seven county area, which is pretty impressive, I think. Uh, so they would be submitting some kind of project before the end of the school year. Well, I think the end of June or something, it was, was uh, the date that she set. I'm not sure, maybe Cheryl knows. Uh, and then there's the um, community, of interest art project, which in which she's contacting somebody in each county to see if they would be willing to do a project. And that is funded. So we have funds to uh, pay for those projects to some extent and some, uh, provide materials. Now the individual art projects are just kind of a, a lot more random. We just blast out and say, uh, Hi, do you want to participate in an art project that supports uh, nonpartisan districting? 
and there's not going to be any reward association associated with that, but it'll be part of the the presentation that's put on the on the our website. So it'll be it'll get some media exposure that way. Um, it, it's it's really you know very informal, I would say. But in the meantime, we've generated some some information that will help support these efforts. And one of them is uh, just a flyer that describes what the art projects are, is, whatever. Uh, and then the, the four brochures that Cheryl has uh, prepared. And then also um, we're doing fundraising. Cheryl and I are doing fundraising and we're going to be starting on Wednesday. So we're having all of these materials printed out. Also some, some like little business cards. But anyway, uh, um, we're going to go around and see what funding we can generate starting on Wednesday because we want to get enough money to cover the costs of these community of interest art projects. And I was just walking <laughs> Down Division Street in, in uh, River Falls today, I realized that there's already one there. Uh, it's a mural on the back of the um, that building at the corner of Maple and Main that uh, uh, Dave Markson did. And it's got like the uh, community of River Falls in the center and then pictures of some of the things that are, that are done in, in River Falls. So I thought that was really um, interesting that, okay, here's a mural and it really relates to our projects. Awesome, thank yeah, you. You have any other questions, feel free. Or if Cheryl wants to add something that I missed. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I have a question for you, Cheryl. Yes. Um, I wonder if uh, there's been any contact with the uh, community art space about this. I was called a CAB, community art space. Uh, Cheryl's a member. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We went right to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Sarah. And here too, if you know of anyone who would be interested in helping with the project or doing a, an art project around communities of interest, get in touch. And I'll give a quick update about our social media team, which is basically just follow us and help amplify our messages on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, I put the little links in the chat, but if you are on social media, please be sure to follow us and help amplify our message. There's a lot of fun things going on and Bob's doing a great job with Twitter. Whenever I log on, I'm amazed. He's got great creative mind to capture people's attention. So um, participate if you're on Twitter and that and Facebook and Instagram. I forgot, I, I forgot to say one thing and that is that I'm gonna send out to, to this whole group uh, the documents that I was mentioning. So you can also spread them out on, uh, on media if you would. Awesome, thank you, Sarah. Um, well, Patty Shatner is not here, um, but she did confirm yesterday. So I'm just gonna keep going. And if she shows up before we're done, we'll pause for her. And if not, we'll be done really, really early. Um, so a couple upcoming events. We have our last uh, Fair Maps 101 on May 20th. So here too, if you can share it on Facebook and um, let people know about it. It's for people who don't have a lot of knowledge about gerrymandering or fair maps and kind of want to get a lay of the land. So great thing for people to way for people to start getting involved. And to date, we've trained 66 people. So it's been a great way of, of reaching out and, and getting more people informed about the issue. I wanted to pitch this event that Grassroots um, or Fair Maps North Shore, North Shore Fair Maps team is doing. They're kind of on the other end of the state from us, but they're um, hosting some really great events and they're having a meeting on May 
10th with a Republican from Maryland, which has been gerrymandered in favor of Democrats. And so that's a really, I think it'll be a really interesting conversation uh, about how that feels for them and, and maybe some good insights on how messaging, how we can do better with messaging ourselves. So check it out if you're so inclined. And then we, thanks to Douglas, we have a location for an in-person gathering celebration on July 10th. So mark your calendars. We'll give more details as the time gets closer, but it'd be really fun to get to meet a lot of you in person because um, our little rectangular Zoom photo <laughs> does not do justice to <laughs> a real relationship. So it'd be fun. It'd be really fun. Um, Douglas picked an area, a uh, location that's pretty central. So it shouldn't be too far for anyone. I think under an hour for everyone um, and closer for some people than others, but it's about 30 minutes from Hudson. I think it's 15 minutes from my house. Um, so anyway, mark your calendars and more details will come on that. It's very beautiful. Cool. Our next meeting is on Thursday, June 3rd. And we'll, as the summer comes along, we'll probably restructure our teams a little bit because some of our work, like with communities of interest, will be coming to an end at the end of June. So we'll be shuffling things around a little bit this summer. Um, but that's about it. And I don't have a message from Patty and I don't think Patty's here. So I would suggest we give ourselves all an extra 30 minutes to our evening <laughs> and uh, end our night early. But thank you all very much for coming. And did you have an announcement? Yeah. Can I just add that um, I uh, tangentially related to WWNBD, I am in charge of a rally in River Falls on Saturday from 11 to 12 uh, to support uh, Governor Evers' budget, which does have a piece of um, anti-gerrymandering fair maps legislation in it. Um, I'm looking for people to show up and help me support <laughs> The, fit, the just budget from 11 to 12 on Saturday in River Falls. So if you are- I'll meet it. Or, <laughs> thank you. Or if you know somebody who might be, um, please come. We're gonna live stream on Facebook <clears throat> through the Just Budget Unity website in Madison. And we're gonna videotape testimonies about the budget, which I hope to share with Representative Zimmerman. And also it's going to a statewide uh, video streaming organization connected with this Just Budget group um, that they will post online if you're agreeable to that. So spread the word, please. Uh, Veterans, I, uh, Park, Veterans Park, <laughs> River Falls, 11 o'clock. Yes, thank you, Patrick. I'm looking forward to you're seeing welcome. you. And I have signs, <laughs> so, okay. Awesome because anything you're looking for in the budget won't happen unless we end gerrymandering. So it's all connected. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Well, if sounds good, let's all take ourselves off of mute. And in honor of the beautiful logo that Sarah made for us, let's end on by saying end gerrymandering now on the count of three, if that sounds good. So um, thanks everyone for coming and everyone for participating it together. We're, a lot stronger and we're making a lot of great progress. So thank you everyone for your efforts. And so on the count of three, we'll say end gerrymandering now. So one, two, three, end gerrymandering, gerrymandering now. now. Wow. <laughs> Thanks everyone, take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Take care.